Hello and welcome to another learning experience brought to you by Kapow. Today we're going to learn how to make scrambled eggs. What you're going to need for today, obviously your eggs, <laughs> you need a nice big pan, some whole milk, two bowls, one to whisk your eggs in and the other for your shells, a whisk, butter, ground white pepper, and salt to taste. Today I'm going to make scrambled eggs with four eggs. I'm very gently going to crack on the side and then throw my shell away over there. Be very gentle because if you get some shell in there, it's really hard to get out. And last one. There we go. That one wanted to be difficult. Now that we've cracked our eggs into the bowl, we're going to add some milk. Now I'm using four eggs, so I'm going to use a quarter cup of milk. So now we're going to whisk. Feel free to go to town. You want to get as much air in there as possible. That's what makes them fluffy. Start to get a nice circular motion with your wrist, and then you're really going to be able to beat them. Now, I like to add a little bit of salt and our ground white pepper for taste. Give it a little whisk, and then we're going to go to the stove. I love ground white pepper. There we go. Last little whisk. Make sure you get everything and now it's off to the stove. Now that we have our eggs whisked and our pans heating, we're gonna put a little chunk of butter in there. You wanna make sure that you're gonna get it all over the pan and keep it down on a medium heat. About four is good. Now that our butter is simmering, we're gonna put our eggs in there. Gently pour out of the bowl right into the middle. That's the best way to do it so that your eggs aren't gonna separate. Now what you wanna do is kinda make sure it doesn't stick to the little edges, but keep it down there so that everything will settle on the bottom. So in order to ensure that they're evenly cooked, you wanna let the bottom settle first and then fold in the corners. Once you see a couple little bubbles forming, I think you're ready to fold on over. Keep folding in your sides. If there's any portion of the egg that's not cooking, make sure you tilt your pan down so that that way, the uncooked portion is closer to the heat. And keep moving them around so nothing burns. You know your scrambled eggs are done when they're nice and fluffy and they have a firmness to them, but they're not brown. These eggs are all done, so I'm gonna transfer them onto a plate. Sometimes you can just pour right from the pan. I prefer to use my spatula. It makes it a little bit easier to get the big chunks of egg without everything just falling right onto the plate. If you have any trouble, you can just bring your plate up right next to it. And that's how you make scrambled eggs. Kapow! You just learned something.